This is Highlight Reel from March 21st, 2016, and we're here to show you some of the best recent clips from around the gaming world. In Halo 5, Buenos Nachos times this perfectly. In The Elder Scrolls Online, Mr. Ferret finds something terrifying. In flames, a kingdom is forged. Through strife, a king prevails. You have passed the trial of kings. The vault shall open. Approach the vault. I will speak to you there. In Battlefield Hardline, here's some master level air guitar. So I don't go. In Project Cars, here's how to get rid of a tailgater trying to take advantage of your slipstream. In Mista Parkle's game of Fallout 4, Roxy has a bad case of lockjaw. Usually hangs out in the garage. Blue Jay does sales. Anything to buy or sell that isn't power armor. He's got it covered. Um, let's see. Duke and Johnny D keep their peepers open for bad news cats who want to mess with our digs. I'm almost done. Zeke's the boss. Started this whole outfit. And well, I just dare you to find a cat cooler than Zeke. And then there's me, the newest Adam cat, Roxy. Got it all memorized, Jack? In Battlefield 4, CL Gaming is a menace to aircraft. In Rainbow Six, melee isn't supposed to work like magic. Secure the room, protect the bio container. Also in Rainbow Six, Crossfire is having some difficulty with bear traps. There's one at every fucking door right here. Except for the far- Damn it. Hold on, I just want to be safe. <laughs> it's like playing the fucking, uh... What a crack of shit. I would never walk into that. I <laughs> I believe I saw one. Pull the, Pull the shield up. Pull the shield up. You fucking asshole, man. I didn't even know that one was there, but that was so worth it. <laughs> Lastly, in R6, Maximus uses their intuition. Over in the division, GameSpeak gets vengeance on these dudes that went rogue. Here, Onikin gets good at blind firing. Gonna fly the enemy. Hey! Also in the division, this is bullshit. Lastly in the division, freeze. Uh oh. That was mine. 
Do you see this floating body? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it like it flew and then stopped in midair. <laughs> in UFC 2, this staggering knockout shot to the uh As we see here in the replay, it's this nasty body shot. She's in big trouble here. She buckles over and this is the TKO finish. You can see here from a different look, nasty shot to the body that lands absolutely perfectly. The legs go and gets the TKO. And let's check it out from a different angle. In GTA 5, this A-plus rocket shot. And let's end today with this strange as hell bike behavior. <laughs> this has been Highlight Reel. Please remember to like and subscribe for more, and to visit and share the affiliated clips in the description below. Highlight Reel premieres every Monday and Thursday. Got a game you want us to cover? Just say so in the comments. And if you have a clip that you want on Highlight Reel, please send it to Highlight Reel at Kotaku.com. No sé, güey, yo te gano, güey, no cacho ni güey. Hi everyone, thank you for watching. It's been an amazing 200 episodes and I can't wait for 200 more. You guys are fantastic and I'm so happy to have such a dedicated and frankly pleasant community supporting the show. That said, here are some questions that I got since the last episode. On Kotaku, sometimes there are short posts on something interesting like a clip or a fun screenshot that someone posted on Reddit. I was wondering how much of the content on Highlight Reel is found by you browsing, or sent by a colleague that thought it was interesting, or is the show done entirely on clips sent in by the audience? Brian. Hi Brian. The majority of the footage comes from reader submissions. Sometimes a coworker will be covering a beat, or a reader or myself will see something they saw online, and I will try to reach out to that clip holder. I think having a mix is important, because it stabilizes the show and allows us to grow into games that aren't being submitted, like say Street Fighter V. Oftentimes, however, that goes both ways. A clip a reader submitted that had only a few views will end up getting shared massively on like Reddit or Facebook. I think that's healthy and a vindication of what the show should be. Not just an entertaining show, but a fluid one with a steadfast dedication to transparent sourcing. How long does it take you to cut an episode of Highlight Reel? Dominic. I would say that most of the editing and post-production is done day of, and takes about half a day. The episode takes a day from beginning to end, and some of the sorting out of the clips is done on off days. But in addition to Highlight Reel, I have other responsibilities, so it's not a full-time job for me. How many submissions do you typically get an episode? What is your process of going through them? Christopher K. Hi, Christopher. I mean, it honestly varies. I'd say about average 100 or 200 clips per episode right now, but that fluctuates depending on the schedule of the release. That's a lot, and thankfully I have my coworker Gergo, who helps a lot on the show, to help sort through them. I try to respond to every email I get, at the very least by thanking the person. While I'm sure it's easier said than done, what, if any, process do you use in determining which submissions make the real and which do not? I'm positive you must get an excessive and surely impressive amount of epic kill streaks, game glitches, and one-off amazing occurrences in the gaming world. How do you choose which clips make the cut? Brett. Hi, Brett. This is overwhelmingly the hardest part of my job, and at the end of the day, it boils down to gut reaction and memory. If you play a game and watch enough clips from it, you get a handle on what streaks are impressive and what aren't, what glitches are rare and funny and what aren't, what's hard and what's not. I'm so thankful for every clip I get, but at the end of the day, I do have to be an arbiter for the show. And I feel like I mostly do my job well. If I choose unwisely, commenters let me know, and believe me, I read the comments. At the end of the day, if it makes me laugh or swear out loud, it goes in. I also do take into account view count sometimes if it seems that the clip has gone viral elsewhere, but mostly I just trust my own judgment. Is there any type of clip that you absolutely hate to get? Longtime fan, Nathan Hodge. Hi Nathan. I don't really hate getting any clip because every clip I get is important to the person that sent it. Sometimes people will ask or even demand to know why their clip wasn't featured and that can put me in kind of an awkward position. But otherwise, I don't really hate clips. For a complete beginner, what's the most efficient way to get a video captured on PS4 submitted to Highlight Reel? What do I need? A YouTube account? Do I need to use a computer? Is it different for Macs and PCs? A simple walkthrough would be greatly appreciated. Eggiehead. Hi Eggiehead. This is a more in-depth question than I have time to answer here, but generally I try to attach a link to an article answering those questions in the description of every episode. YouTube works for us very well because it's transparent and easy to link to, but there are tons of ways to do it. So can you never get a cold? Because if you did, whose voice would they use for highlight reel? Egon. 
I actually did get a cold last week, and that's why the episode was delayed. And we've talked about doing guest voices before. Here's one from our old friend Leo. You're watching Highlight Reel with me, professional memeologist Chris Person. This time on the special 200th episode, Video Games. At the end of the day, though, I'm kind of tied not only to the editing, but the voice. And the turnover is fast enough that it would take longer to make the videos with a guest voice. So unless something big happens, I'm here for a while. That's it for now. Thank you for asking all these questions and sticking with us. You guys rule, and you're what makes this show happen. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Keep sending the clips and keep watching. Chris. Thank <laughs> you.